Hi, welcome to the video Restoring Screw Home to the Knee. We'll be looking at some ways to test for a screw home mechanism in the knee and then some approaches to restoring that motion if it's absent, as well as that there'll be some soft tissue myofascial releases to augment the joint work and together they will enable you to create really normal function at the knee that has a huge influence on the kinetic chain from the ground up through the legs and into the sacroiliac joints and across the pelvis and into the trunk. Here's the motion test. We straddle across the tibial plateau with the web space and across the femur just above the patella with the web space of the other hand. Then we push from anterior to posterior and if the joint has normal motion then the femur will rotate internally and the tibia will rotate externally. That's the motion test. I'm just pushing from anterior to posterior and I'm seeing if the motion can be induced by that. If it's not present, which it's not here, the skeleton's not cooperating, doesn't have good screw home activity, then we do grip the bones and we start to induce the motion that we'd like to see. So now I'm bossing the femur internally and twisting the tibia externally. So it's, you can see there's a little bit of motion there. We want that force to go into the joint space. So we want to localize the force so it's affecting these surfaces moving on each other and so we don't want gliding around on the soft tissue, like wringing the soft tissue and the myofascia, but rather we want to keep a good grip on the bones so that we can have the force go towards inducing that motion. So there's some overpressure here. We're getting bossy and we're directing the bones to go where they should go. We'll oscillate. We'll pump and twist there 15 to 20 times and what we'll start to notice is that we can induce that screw home behavior. We'll start to induce the motion of the femur going internal and the tibia going external. Once we have some fluid gliding motion between the two bones. We can come back, retest, push anterior to posterior and that rotation screw home behavior should be there. Next we'll look at this on a real leg and we'll show the test, I'll show the induced motion and then I will show some soft tissue release that we can do that will assist with getting motion restored between those two bones. Sometimes we're bossing away, moving the joint, getting a little bit of play going there, but we know we can go further. So we do want to start to address the soft tissue, particularly around this medial aspect of the, the knee joint. Here's the same handhold that I used on the skeleton. See the web space of that top hand is over the, uh, just above the patella, the web space of that more distal hand is just across the tibial plateau. I'll just show you here as I push from anterior to posterior that the knee exhibits normal screw home behavior. So as we push it towards the table, it rotates so that the tibia rolls externally and the femur rolls internally. If that didn't occur when I pushed in that way, I would begin then to mobilize by gripping, 
and inducing those motions. So I'm then rolling the tibia externally. I'm forcing it to roll while I, in counterpoint, I roll the femur internally. So it's creating a kind of shearing force across the joint space. And I'd keep it that, oscillate, kind of pump, move it in that way, say 20 times some overpressure involved, so it's not really low force. And then I'd retest, if I'm getting better motion, then I've been successful. Might be that there's a bit more motion, but it still feels sticky, and it's not moving very well. And then I would start to add soft tissue work, and I would then be still twisting the bones with my hands, but using my fingers around this medial aspect of the joint. So that distal hand is pulling up, posterior to anterior. The web space is still steering the tibia externally. And the more proximal hand is just gripping that tissue and feeding it towards the table. So those two hands then develop a line of tension between them. We just explore around there. So we keep keep at that, keep making multiple uh, contacts at different sites. And by different sites, we're only moving a few millimeters, but we're definitely not just going through the same lines over and over. Once we've done that for a minute or so, we come back and once again, we motion test we decide, am I seeing screw home? Am I seeing that motion? And if it's there, there's a lot more play in the knee and mostly the person that you're working on will feel that. They'll be able to notice the difference. The knee will feel more fluid. Uh, you're done. <laughs>